And I'm like, I I'm in the middle of making a dick and fart joke movie, man. I I'm not prepared to change my underwear, let alone the world. I, I don't think I can, I don't, I, I don't, all right. So uh, he's like, all right, so then I'll see you tomorrow. And he takes off. And I, I look at Stephanie, I was like, can we go outside? And she's like, yeah, I take her outside. I was like, I, don't, I can't fucking do this. I, I don't know what he wants. I can't change the world. I don't, I'm not a documentarian. He wants to shoot a documentary. I'm, I, did you ever see the movies I make? I don't make documentaries. And documentaries are made by people who come up with the idea and then they follow it through and, and, and see it through themselves and shoot it themselves. And they're interviewing people from behind the camera because it's something that's personal to him. It's passionate. And he's obviously very personal and passionate about these issues. But I, I, I'm not. I mean, I don't, I'm chock a mad. I'm sorry. But I, there's nothing... <laughs> I can, I can do about that. And she's just like, all right, calm down, calm down. And she's like, what can you do? And I was like, I, I mean, if Prince wants to make a movie about a couple guys hanging around a mall, like, I'm your fucking guy. But I can't make a documentary. And she's like, okay, but he really wants you to do it. And I was just like, I, I, I don't understand. I, I, I'm not really cut out for this kind of thing. And why can't you explain it to him that, I, you know, just go in there and tell him. I'll just leave. I'll go back to Los Angeles and tell him no harm, no foul. And, and you explain that I can't do this. And she's like, Kevin, let me explain something to you about Prince. I've been working with Prince for many years now. And I can't go in there and tell him that you can't shoot this documentary. And I'm like, why? And she's like, because Prince doesn't comprehend things the way you and I do. And I was like, what, what do you mean? And she was just like, well, Prince has been living in Prince world for quite some time. Now. <laughs> She's like, so Prince will come to us periodically and say things like, it's three in the morning in Minnesota. I really need a camel. <laughs> Go get it. And then we try to explain to Prince, like, Prince, it's 3 o'clock in the morning in Minnesota, it's January, and you want a camel. That is not physically or psychologically possible. And Prince says, why? And she's, I'm like, what is he, being an asshole? And she's like, no, he's not malicious when he does it. He just doesn't understand why he can't get exactly what he wants. He doesn't understand why someone can't process a simple request, like a camel at three in the morning in Minnesota. And I was like, well, you know what? That's not my problem. I was like, I, I, I can't do what he wants me to do. I'm freaked out here. I don't know what to do. And she's like, well, why don't you know what? You'd be doing me a huge favor if you go tell him that. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell him. Fuck it. I'll, you know, somebody's got to deal with him straight. I'll go in there. I'll tell him. He'll understand. So I go in there and, and uh, He's back up on stage, and he comes back down. He's like, what's the matter? And I was like, the, uh, how do you want to shoot this thing? <laughs> and he's like, whatever you want, however you want to shoot it. And I was like, all right, look, I, I don't know if I can shoot this thing. I, I think if, since it's kind of a documentary, it should come from you. And I, I, I'd be kind of a third wheel. You know, It's like you've got the crew, and you have the idea, and I basically be there what? To do what? Like, There's really nothing for me to do. And he's like, well, I need you to be my representation because I'll be busy all week, so you have to go and communicate my message. <laughs> and I'm like, look, if you want me to communicate, let's go crazy. <laughs> let's get nuts. Like, let's slip on a purple banana until they put us in the, in the truck. I can do that. I've listened to that album a lot. If you want me to go in there and start talking about Jesus... I did that, and I got a lot of death threats out of it. So I'm not too keen to, to go in there and, and do it. And he's like, you, want, you know what? You'll do a great job. I have faith in you. Walks away. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm making a documentary. I don't fucking know how to make a documentary. I never made a documentary. So I go in the next day, and um, we're shooting in the atrium. And uh, everybody sits down and shit. They're listening to these albums in other rooms in Paisley Park. And they bring them into this room called the atrium. Uh, with the high ceilings, and there's a big cage with doves in it. And the whole time you're sitting there listening to what it sounds like when the fucking doves cry. Because <laughs> they won't shut up. So, um, so people start coming into the room, and I'm standing there with two guys with cameras and their Nagra equipment, and people start coming into the room, and I would say about 20% of them, as they walk in, are like... Silent Bob. 
you know, like I was the last person they expected to see there. You know, like what the fuck is Silent Bob doing here? <laughs> is, is he a fan? Did he? Why is he? Stand, what's with the cameras? What's going on? And I'm like, look, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> So I sit him down, and I'm like, look, uh, we're going to talk about what you just heard. And I don't introduce myself. I'm not like, I'm Kevin Smith, I made a few movies. I'm just like, hi, we're going to talk about uh, what you just listened to and, and see where the topic takes us. And so we start talking. And everybody wants to talk about religion because that's what the album's about. It's a real theme piece. It's kind of a one story throughout the whole album. Heavily steeped in faith and spirituality. So... People start getting up in arms. You know, some people are like, I think it's his best work to date. I think it's like all the promise he showed on Love Sexy. And, you know, it's just the next level for Prince. Like, I love all the three-minute, four-minute pop hits, but this is where he's going. This is tremendous. And then I've got other people on the side going, look, we all know Prince is Jehovah's Witness. And I'm sitting there going, Prin Prince is a Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> Since when? Now? Because um, he didn't try to sell me a watchtower once. <laughs> So he's going, and I just want, I printed up a bunch of facts from the internet about the Jehovah's Witness that I think Prince should read because it's very important stuff and he should know that he's being built and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, all right, we'll, we'll address that. Let's, uh, what else does everyone think? And trying to lead the discussion to where Prince wanted to go, but everyone wants to talk about religion and what they've heard on the album. And some people are incensed because uh, it's a very literal translation of the Bible, which means that the order of things is God, man, women, children, animals. So, there, of course, there are women in the audience who are like, I, I don't go in for this man-woman shit, you know? Like, I don't want to be led by any man, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting there trying to keep the fires from really erupting. Somebody comes up behind me and says, whispers in my ear, Prince wants you to stop talking about religion. And I'm like, keep talking, keep talking. What do you mean Prince wants me to stop talking about religion? Why, that's what they want to talk about. It's really, where is he? They're like, he's not here. And I was like, well, how the hell does Prince know that I'm talking about religion? And she's like, he just, he just, he'd prefer if you stop. He knows. <laughs> and I'm like, well, how am I supposed to I just jump to another topic and be like, hey, who likes pie? You know, so. <laughs> they just listen to an album about religion. That's what they want to fucking talk about. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if he, if he wants it to not be about, if he wants it to be something else, maybe he should get his ass down here and do something about it. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, all right, all right, I just told you. And so the other person, people are talking, and I'm looking around the atrium while they're speaking. And there's a sign in front of the kitchen in the atrium that says the atrium, redone in 19 blah, blah, blah. Um, and then there's a piece of factoid, a factoid about the atrium that says, um, like every room in the building, this room is wired for sound, so Prince can record anywhere he likes. Which essentially means that if Prince is sitting in the shitter, <laughs> and he wants to write Raspberry Beret, he can do it and record it while taking a shit without ever leaving the room. Every room in the place is wired for sound. So I'm reading that going, that's not interesting. Like, no wonder the motherfucker heard me. Every room is wired for sound. And I'm like, God, did he hear me say he should get his ass down here? And he might have, because I'm sitting there talking to the person who's talking, and in the back of the room, I see Prince materialize. You know, not out of thin air, but suddenly he's there. <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit, he's, he's coming to dress me down. He's going to yell at me in front of these people. Like, I wouldn't. I, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to make him a part of it. And I was like, what do you think, sir? And everyone turns around, they're like, oh, it's Prince. And they applaud, and he comes in, sits down, and uh, starts, he's listening to the group and letting me keep lead it. And then he starts joining in and talking. If you know anything about Prince, he's very kind of quiet, solitary, likes to stay apart from people, but he starts joining in, gets real into it and shit like that. And I start hanging back. And I go into the back of the room and sit down and watch him. And so I'm getting to appreciate, like, Prince sitting here talking to these people about spirituality and then about, like, radio and how radio sucks nowadays. And, and he, nobody owns the air over his head, so how come they can't play shit he wants to hear? You know, he's going everywhere. And I'm like, this is brilliant. Like, I would watch this. I'd watch this documentary about how a man falls apart in front of a crowd of people. 